They are sounds that have been silenced at movie theaters across the country for months. After probably about a million dollars of an investment opened it up and after just a couple of weeks we were shut down because of the coronavirus. One of Blaine and Janelle Givens' theater, RCE in Elizabeth City, just got a remodel in February, only to be quickly shuttered. The theater owners have lost more than $700,000 in revenue. Um, for a movie theater to be effective and for you to be profitable, if you maintain about a 20% occupancy rate, then you can do really well. And so movie theaters don't sell out. We're not like concert venues. Which is why they want the government to understand people can still come enjoy the magic of movies and safely. I, I've told people that we invented social distancing um, because <laughs> or physical distancing. Right now, movie theaters are open in 35 states. North Carolina not on the list. A growing frustration for small theater owners like the Givens, especially in small towns. You can go into any home improvement store or any grocery store and find three to five times as many people as you would on a movie in a movie theater. Communities are really taking a beating by not having these opportunities to gather together. So they're part of a new online petition that's already garnered 200,000 signatures called Save Your Cinema. To give us some assistance, financial assistance, um, that can help us sustain uh, through the rest of this storm. The campaign asks for the public's help to demand Congress support the Restart Act, which would provide seven year loans covering six months of expenses for local movie theaters. It's a gathering place. It's a place where people come to be together and to and to enjoy life and to, to get away from the stress that life brings to us. I'm Chelsea Donovan for News 3.